Hello everyone, my name is Brady Hazlett. I'm an application engineer here at 3M, and today we're gonna to talk through spray booth maintenance and protection. Now the reason we want to protect a spray booth is not only because it's a large investment, but it's also a source of lost productivity as you bring dirt into the booth and once it gets there, if it lands in the finish. So we'll talk about ways to reduce that. Now before we get started, of course you want the, uh, the appropriate personal protective equipment for the job. Since we'll be replacing the dirt trap and using knives to cut it, we'll have cut resistant gloves on for that, as well as safety glasses as we work in the shop. If you have questions about safety or warranty, there are links in the description below. Now let's get started. So let's talk about that routine maintenance for a spray booth. Of course, the spray booth manufacturer will have their recommendations on how often you want to replace those filters, but not only those exhaust filters, but intake and blowers, those require maintenance as well, so don't skimp on that. We also mentioned our dirt trap material. So dirt trap is available in white for the walls as well as a gray product for the floors. And what's neat about that is not only is it protecting those surfaces, but it has a non-woven top layer that happens to take in that dirt and trap it so that it's not coming out and landing in your paint finishes, reducing any of that paint finish rework caused by that. We also have a dirt trap product that's available for lighting, which is a clear film, and that can be used to protect lights and get those fresh and clean again as well. Also with lighting, it's very important that you spec out the booth with enough lights so you can really see what you're doing. And don't skimp on cleaning those up so that eventually, as that overspray builds up, you're losing that light you need to see and do your work. Lastly, let's talk about the paint suit. Now, you're gonna be going and painting on and all those jobs, and that's gonna collect debris, any overspray that you happen to, to have hanging in the air, and as that builds up, it can be a new source of contamination in your job. So, replace those paint suits often so that you're not creating rework just from the debris coming off your suit as you spray. That's all we have for this video. Stay tuned for more in this paint application series. But if you like this content, feel free to hit that like button, comment, or subscribe. And for more content like this, follow the links below for the Collision Repair Academy. We'll see you next time.